ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाकटेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज द मल्टीमीटर कंट्रोल विद इन द मल्टी सिम सिमुलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर सो दिस इज द मेन विंडो ऑफ अवर मल्टी सिम सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन सी दैट ऑन राइट हैंड साइड दिट ऑन द राइट मोस्ट टॉप कॉर्नर वी कैन सी दैट देर इज मल्टीमीटर so we need to click on it and we can drag it and put it here now this is our multimeter and here it is written xmm1 that is multimeter 1 now as we know that multimeter is actually an avometer that is it can measure current that is amperes voltage volts as well as the ohms or resistance so that is why it is called as the avometer okay now we will try to measure some things like uh, we can take some ac voltage okay and we need to connect it with the multimeter okay it, it don't kindly double click on this uh, source uh, we can write 10 point like 4 5 volts peak to peak okay and we can press okay so now when you will run it okay it said that the circuit is not grounded so we need to take our ground simple ground so this our simple ground we need to connect it with the multimeter okay now run it okay now we will double click on the multimeter okay as we have selected the uh, dc portion so so we need to click on the ac reference so it is written 7.389 volt but why it is showing less than the 10.45 volt peak to peak because multimeter always shows us the rms value that is root mean square value it is just like the average although uh, root mean square is a bit different than the average but still you can see that it is a bit close to the average so it is always less than the peak voltage so this is how you can measure your ac voltage now we need to move towards our second control okay now we can take our dc supply okay now we can go and we can take our dc supply so can we see some dc current or dc power dc power is the right thing so this is our dc power okay you can say it is dc voltage source you can say that yeah although it is battery but batteries are obviously the dc source so we can Okay, so this is like that. Okay, okay. Now we will run it. We will see the output. Now it is showing zero because we have to select the DC side rather than AC one. So here you can see that it is showing just the accurate value. Why it is so? Because there isn't any sort of mean square component or factor inside the DC current or DC voltage. So it will show just the 12 volt. Okay, now we will measure our resistance. Now we will go and we will take one resistor. Okay, resistor and one K. Yes, one K. Okay, now we will delete our what's called as the yeah. We will move towards the ohm side and we will connect it with the this. and this okay so we will run it and now it, it shows us the 1 kilo ohm so we can measure anything like current voltage or the resistance with the help of our multimeter so hopefully you got this very little and simple concept so thanks for visiting our channel